Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. So a lot of people ask me about, you know, improving their front end visualization skills and I'm working on that. I'm working on a product for that. But till then, you know that you could actually use custom themes, right? So if you look at this dashboard, you go here, you select the name of the dashboard. This is in uh, SAS. So here you have something called add options and here you have a bunch of different ways to actually customize how it looks and you have something called app theme over here and if you look at it you have sense classic and if i click on that the entire visualization or the look and feel of the app changes right uh, that's because these are based on something called click themes so click has automatically created let's say four of these themes and you get it with every bundle basically so i can click on breeze um, so now it's applied i close this and now when I remove it, you see that the whole look and feel of the app has kind of changed, including the basic colors and all of that. I know this looks really cool, right? <laughs> We're gonna, this is part of the ClickSense visualization course, which is coming out soon because a lot of people ask me how to make really cool visualizations and uh, this is part of that. So sign up for the link below for to be the first guys and um, yeah, get some cool stuff. All right. So how do we add, so you can actually select the basic extensions that Click comes out with, they're quite nice, but you could also go one step ahead. That is, you can actually go into a theme gallery here. You have something called sensetheme.com. They have a bunch of different ones which are user submitted and you can select and download one of them and apply that as your theme. So for example here, I'm gonna say, you know, let's download this. And now I'm downloading the Weekend at Bernie's theme. Next, what you need to do is you need to go into your, you click on this and over here, your administration, right? So if we go into administration and you have something called themes here and you have extensions here. So I look at themes, we go in. And now what I can do is the theme that I downloaded, I can actually upload it here. So I click on that. I click on OK and I click on Upload. And now this theme has been uploaded, right? Perfect. Let's go back to my little dashboard that I was building, reload it once. And now when I go back here and I click on this and we go back to the app theme and you see you have a custom theme here. So you can actually go through a bunch of them. There's quite a lot um, that uses submitted themes here and you can download, you can also make your own, right? Um, we'll look into how to make your own some other time, but now you create, we, we have just chosen, we have downloaded it uh, and let's click on it. And now you see that the custom theme has been applied to your app and your app takes on the base colors, the way it looks and all of that from your theme that you just downloaded. Perfect, right? I mean, how, co how cool is this particular dashboard? If you want to know how to build it, well, sign up for the link below and uh, you will, I'll let you know when it's out. Perfect. So this is how you add custom themes to your ClickSense. So this is my custom one. I'm going to go with focus. And this is a regular click inbuilt theme. Pretty darn cool, right? Yeah, super simple. You have a lot of them over here. Check it out. Um, download the ones that you like and use it in your next click app perfect check out the links below and um, yeah i'll see you in the next one peace